Hello, Adolfo from Portainer here. This video is a continuation of a tutorial where we showed how to deploy traffic with Portainer on a charmed Kubernetes cluster. And now we're going to do this with SSL. Basically, what's going to happen is that traffic now is going to download certificate files from Let's Encrypt, store them onto my Kubernetes cluster, and via Portainer, I'm going to deploy applications that are going to automatically uh, be rerouted from port 80 to 443 using the proper certificate file. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire step by step because um, the steps are pretty much the same as in the previous tutorial. I will show you, though, the changes that I did in this case, which are basically deploying traffic on a separate namespace. Um, in, in my previous tutorial, uh, traffic was deployed on the default namespace. Um, so maybe it's a best practice to you know, do this on a separate namespace. There are some additional arguments that you're going to see in the values YAML file. Um, so traffic can deploy SSL certificates using Let's Encrypt or whatever certificate of authority you prefer. Um, uh, you have to enable persistence, otherwise traffic cannot save the proper certificate files onto the Kubernetes cluster. Let's say, for instance, your Kubernetes cluster has to be um, uh, rebooted or has suffered some sort of maintenance. If you bring this, um, this, uh, this cluster back up, the certificates will, will not have been stored because you wouldn't have had a proper persistence folder where to store these certificate files. So this is important that you enable persistence on the values YAML file. Um, I set traffic as my main ingress controller and I enabled redirect from port 80 to 443. So the reference values YAML file that I'm using in this deployment can be downloaded from the link below here on this um, main changes uh page that you're seeing but make sure that when you download the values yaml file you change two strings the first one is for an email address that you have to make sure is a real a a email address so let's encrypt can associate that certificate file to that proper email address and the second one is the domain name you're going to use on your kubernetes cluster downloading this file from this link directly will will uh render your deployment useless it's not going to work uh, so, okay, so let's go into Portainer and um, let's see the magic here of traffic with Portainer on a charmed Kubernetes cluster. So I'm logging into my Kubernetes cluster uh, via my Portainer instance here. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to add a resource pool. Um, I'm going to call this resource pool robot. I'm going to deploy a tiny little bot image. I'm going to call it robot. And the um, domain that I'm using is with Nipio. If you don't know or have ever heard of Nipio, I encourage you to take a look at it. It's a very cool um, service that is for free. And it's, it's also very good for um, testing these type of uh, deployments. Now, this step is very very important i have to tell let's encrypt the the name of the certificate resolver that i'm going to use for this um host so i add an annotation here that will be available on the description of this video and the annotation will point to le which stands for let's encrypt so this is where uh, traffic is going to download the certificate file okay Create this resource pool. Now I'm going to deploy an application that I'm going to call robot. And I'm going to download a tiny microbot um, application that we have. Robot. I'm downloading this from a, a dummy um, registry um, link. This registry exists. I mean, you, you can download it if you want for testing purposes but that's the only image you're going to find there anyway uh, but i'm going to use the resource pool i created earlier called robot and now i'm going to deploy this on port 80 because that's where this tiny little robot runs and i'm going to point this to the root path uh, of the application i deploy this it's a tiny little image. Let's deploy it already. Here it is, robot. And it's been deployed. Okay, let me 
um, open the application and well, fingers crossed, what should happen here is that when I click on this link, it should open the um, tiny microbot um, page with the proper Let's Encrypt certificate file. And there you go, it worked. We can click here on the information of the certificate. You will see it's been um, generated by Let's Encrypt and automatically deployed by traffic. Uh, let's test this with another application. I'm truthful here. I'm going to deploy another application. Oh, so again, first let's do the resource pool. This is important. Add resource pool. I'm going to call it um, P admin assignments and admin. And the domain is the one previously. Again, this is a test domain. Make sure if you want to use it in a production environment, use a proper domain. I'm going to add the um, string that tells traffic which certificate resolver it has to use. In this case, let's encrypt. Create the resource pool. Add this application. Admin. And I'm going to use the resource pool I just created. Press port 80 with the um, root path. And there it is. Deployed. Okay, so again, fingers crossed. When I click on this link, it should open the um, PHP My Admin uh, interface with a proper uh, Let's Encrypt certificate. So this can happen because it might take some time until um, traffic can download that certificate file from uh, Let's Encrypt. Let's try this again. Okay, and now it worked. Now I see my proper certificate deployed by traffic. So, you know, don't freak out if the first time you try to access the application, you see an error page. Um, because again, it takes some time until traffic can download the certificate file. Okay. It worked nicely. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this uh, it was uh, a very interesting experience of using traffic with SSL on a Trump Kubernetes uh, cluster. Please stay tuned for our next how-to. Thank you very much.